Hello, and welcome to my audio implementation series for the game Helix. Helix is a multiplayer FPS game with mobile-like mechanics, which is being developed by Coffee Bean Interactive. In this video, I will be taking you through the footstep system that I have implemented in the game using WISE and Unreal integration. When I started playing Apex Legends as a part of my research for audio design in FPS games, I noticed something very unique that stuck out to me. The footstep system is such that the player's or the first person character's footstep is at a lower volume than the opponent's or third person character's footstep. As our game was a multiplayer FPS, I decided to replicate this feature Feature in our game. Let's have a close look at how it sounds in the game. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk around in the map to see how first person footstep sounds. And then let's go over to the bot there to see how bot's footstep would sound to us. So as you can hear, the bot's footsteps are noticeably louder than my own footsteps. And they're pretty directional as well. How did I achieve this? Let's take a close look at my WISE project. In WISE, I created a switch container called CHA underscore FSP underscore FPC. Within this switch container, I made several random containers, each having their own material footsteps like concrete, dirt, grass, metal, etc. Then I added four audio files for each file and introduced a pitch randomizer for each container so that the sounds don't become too repetitive. Next step was to create a switch group which I named as SWT underscore surface underscore type underscore anim. Inside this group, I created several switches according to the physical material and named them accordingly. I assigned the switch group to the switch container I made earlier and each random container to its respective physical material in the assigned objects. I wanted the footsteps to be dynamic, so essentially mapped to the speed of the player. For this purpose, I created an RTPC called GP underscore CHA underscore speed, short for game parameter character speed. In our game, I already know that the maximum speed attained by the player is equal to 1000 which became the maximum value of this game parameter. I assigned this RTPC directly to the switch container so that all the children random containers would have the same RTPC driving their properties. This RTPC controlled the voice high pass and voice volume properties of the container. It involved a great deal of testing to get the right curve here. So be patient and do what feels right for your game. I adjusted the voice volume of this container to be considerably low at minus 14 dB and then made a duplicate switch container called CHA underscore FSP underscore TPC, keeping the volume at minus 4 dB this time. This helped me to use the same assets essentially for first person and third person footstep sounds along with the same random containers and all the settings like switch groups and RTPC that we did previously. Previously. Additionally, one of the characters in our game also sprints, which is one of their base abilities. For this purpose, I created another duplicate switch container from CHA underscore FSP underscore FPC and then just replaced the audio files inside each container with sprint footstep sounds. I did this because the running sounds would have a bit of heel toe mechanism to it, while the sprint sounds would sound more like single stomps. The sprint speed reaches a maximum of 1400, so I created another game parameter called GP underscore SME underscore sprint, whose value was now between 1000 to 1400. I assigned this game parameter to sprint switch container and then duplicated it for third person footsteps, keeping their voice volumes different. Now let's move over to our Unreal project. 
In Unreal, one of the first steps is to assign these physical materials in the project settings and create these physical materials in the content browser. Go to project settings and under engine physics, scroll down where you can find physical surface tab. Here you can assign different physical surfaces in your game by typing out each of the surface types. Add as many as might be required for your game. Once I added these physical surface types, I created an assignable physical material inside my assets folder and name each of these physical material accordingly. Each physical material was then assigned its surface type in the physical properties. One last step involved assigning this material to different surfaces and the way I have done this is by selecting an environment asset in the game, going to the details tab of that mesh and then browsing to the material of that mesh. Once you open the material, you are able to easily assign the fizz material from the drop down menu. Now let's get to the scripting part in Unreal Engine. In my first person animation blueprint, I switched to the animation tab and added custom notifiers to these blueprint. I aligned these notifiers to match the animation of walking. Once these notifiers were added, I was able to call them in the event graph. In here, I used branch condition to switch the sounds between sprint and run. If the speed is less than 999, it will play the running sounds and if the speed goes above that, it will play the sprint sounds. The set RTPC value node uses the speed data to adjust the volume of the footstep sounds and reduce weight by activating the voice high pass filter. This node then executes a custom function called get surface type, which is essentially just creating a line trace from the center of the player to 150 units below in the direction of Z axis. It gives us the break hit result from out hit which then passes the string information of the physical material to set switch node. The set switch node uses the switch group SWT surface type anim, which we created earlier to switch sounds between different surfaces. After this node, I'm performing a simple check to see whether the character in the game is first person character or third person character. If the character is first person character, it would trigger the first person character footsteps which by default have a lower volume while if the character is third person character then it would trigger the third person character footsteps which by default have a higher volume and the way i'm doing this is by using a node called is locally controlled and that's it that completes our footstep system for a multiplayer game i'm using the same logic not only for footsteps but also for different landing sounds on different materials according to the height of fall. I'm also using body clothing sounds according to the height of fall, body clothing sounds according to the player speed as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you.